And tonight, for the very first time, we are seeing the chaos in Las Vegas unfold from an officer's point of view as police responded to the mass shooting there. This is new body cam footage showing officers trying to figure out where the bullets are coming from. We are also getting a more specific timeline from police. At 10.08 p.m., they receive reports of shots fired. They say the gunfire lasted 9 to 11 minutes and finally stopped at 10.19 p.m. Our Robert Arnold has been in Las Vegas since yesterday and joins us live with all the latest developments and most importantly, how the victims are being remembered tonight. Robert. Late tonight, police are saying this investigation is far from over. They say they have pieced together Stephen Paddock's life but have not yet found a clear motive. Nobody wants answers uh, to why more than the police and the victims' families. But we have a responsibility to get it right. Las Vegas Metro Police Under Sheriff Kevin McMahill described an investigation that is not near completion. He also released new details about a Mandalay Bay security guard who was shot while helping police. Guys, everybody stay down. Stay down. Body cam video shows that as police on the ground were trying to pinpoint where the shots were coming from, the security guard narrowed the sound of gunfire to the 32nd floor. Police say Stephen Paddock placed cameras in the hall of the hotel and his room, saw the guard coming and shot him through a wall. He survived. He was able to provide additional information to the police on exactly which room that we were looking at. Close to 50 weapons were found in Paddock's room in two of his homes in Nevada. Special agent in charge of the ATF San Francisco office, Jill Snyder, says several of the guns found in Paddock's hotel room were equipped with bump stocks. Videos on YouTube show how these devices use a gun's recoil to help a person fire faster. While simulating automatic fire, do not actually alter the firearm to fire automatically making them legal. As police and federal agents continued their investigation, those in and around Las Vegas were coming together to try to heal. Honestly, yesterday it was too hard for me to leave the house. What was supposed to be a national night out event at Mountain Crest Park became vigil for those who lost their lives and were wounded. For many here, it was a chance to form a deeper bond with their neighbors in the face of this massacre. With any big city, there's problems. You know, there's, there's violence and crimes and stuff, and sometimes we lose track of the good. And so I hope that our city continues to um, continues to feel this connection for a long time. Now, police say Paddock's girlfriend is a person of interest. They say she was not here when the shooting happened. She was tracked down in the Philippines. They say she should be back in the States very soon to further talk with investigators. Reporting live from Las Vegas, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Our coverage of the massacre in Las Vegas extends to our website, clicktohouston.com. You'll find the latest updates on the investigation and photos of the victims on our homepage.